In this video, we'll be looking into NECO 2025 Biology Practical Prep. So the specimens are into specimen A to O. So and I'll be classifying this specimen into three categories. So this is the first category, second category. Then I'm going to write the third category after when I'm done with this first and second category. So um, now look at the first category. The specimen I categorize in this first category is A, specimen A, that's housefly, specimen B, that's the spider, C, um, E, that is a butterfly, F, crayfish, G, grasshopper, and K, honeybee. And I believe that students can easily identify this specimen. Most of us, even let me say, all students know what an housefly is, spider, butterfly, crayfish, grasshopper, and a bee. Or maybe so now let's now look at the like likely questions or possible things they can ask you based on all the specimen i categorize in this first category what they can ask you is that let me name this number one a so what they can ask you here is that they can ask you to classify each of the specimen according to their class so looking at this first category now the class of all these specimen is that specimen a is classified in, as an insect that, so for b is classified as Arachnida. So for E is what insecta as well. So for F is classified as a crustacea. Then for G is classified as insecta as well. The same thing as K. K is also classified as an insecta. So that is the first thing they will ask. Now another thing they will ask is that. You should you should state two observable differences between specimen A and B. That means which difference can you observe? What 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 observable difference can you observe between this specimen A that is housefly and a spider? So now the the features we can observe here. Let me say this is one B. So the features you can observe here is for A and then for B. So if you compare their legs in terms of leg, this A, that is the housefly, it has um, six legs. And for the spider, it has eight legs. So that's the first one. So, and also another one is that for the for their wings. So there is presence of wings here. So this one has a wings. And this one, no absence, that is absence of wings. So there is no any wings. So another thing they can ask you, let me say this is the next one we want to see. So they can ask you that you should mention one function of the antenna in specimen A and what and K. That means what is the function of the antenna in this specimen? A that is the housefly and K. That K is the, the only B. So now what is the function of that antenna? So the function is just that it should detect smell and what and vibration. It should detect smell and um, vibration vibration okay so another thing they can ask you let me name this one d is that you should state two ways specimen g is adapted to locomotion specimen g that is grasshopper so how is it adapted to locomotion so that means the two adaptation it has is that number one that is strong end legs for jumping that's a strong end legs for jumping So another one you can see that that's wings to fly short distance. That's wings to fly short distance. Or wings for flying. Wings for flying short distance. Short distances. Okay. So they can still ask again. Let me name the next one one. E. They can still ask you again that you should state one way specimen f is adapted to its aquatic nature specimen f that is what crayfish so how is it adapted to its aquatic nature so that is going to be it has a gills for breathing in water so just one it has gills for breathing in water for breathing in water So for another one they can ask, let me name this one one F, is that they can ask you to state two economic importance of specimen K. So what is the economic importance of specimen K? That is what the only B. So what now what is it used for economically? Number one, to use for pollinate crops. To use to pollinate crops. 
So another one is that it produces only. It produces only. And you know that when it produces only, so people can sell in order to make money. So the next one, they can ask you, you know, each of all these my categories usually have a drawing. So the drawing they can ask you here is that they can say you should draw well, you should draw, make a well, and ask you to make a well label. A well labeled diagram or drawing a well labeled drawing so they can give you a particular length by saying eight to ten centimeter long so they can ask you to draw the dozer view of specimen specimen um well specimen a that's house fly so if they ask you to draw the dozer view of specimen a, you can try to study the diagram of how to draw the dozer view of or specimen A, that is house fly. So that is house fly. So you can also learn the drawing of all other specimens in this first cat in this first category. So these are the possible things I believe that you should add up to whatever you are reading for the first category. So I'll be ending this first category video here. If you need the second category video, just comment you want second category uh, you want second category video and I will send the link to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video. Bye.